Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nafula and today we'll be covering the photo requirements for the green card lottery, also known as the DV lottery. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you have already subscribed to my channel, I just want to thank you for the support and thank you for watching my videos. If you like the content of these videos, please share with your family, your friends, uh, so that they can apply for the program when it opens in October. Like I said again before in my other video, I'm not a legal advisor, so if you have any questions, uh, please contact an immigration lawyer, immigration attorney, so that they can be able to advise you on what you need to do. I will try to answer most questions uh, to the best of my ability, uh, but I will advise you also to double check with your legal um, attorney. I've been getting a lot of questions uh, or maybe a request to do a video about the green card lottery not because I'm a legal advisor for some reason I apply and I win so a brief history I applied for the green card lottery in 2010 for myself I won and then I had a green card already in 2011 but then I decided hmm let me apply for the green card lottery again in 2011 I won so in 2015 I helped my brother apply for the green card lottery. I just guided him through the process and he won. And then after that, four of my friends won the lottery. So before watching this video about the photo requirements, if you have not watched my previous video, I would encourage you to start with that because there's no point of you watching the requirements when you don't know if you are eligible for the program or not. So I will encourage you uh, to watch my video. The link is gonna be on this video below. So you can click on the link, watch that video, and then you can come continue watching this one. So I've realized like a lot of people have questions on my previous video. I cannot go in there and try to answer everybody's question. So what I'm gonna do, I will encourage you to just type your questions. And then after I do all the series of the videos, I'll come back uh, with another video and just uh, the video will be just a response to your questions. So type your questions and then I'll do a video with a response. To the best of my ability so if i don't know a response to a question i will just encourage anybody who's watching uh, the video if you know the answer through experience through if you're an immigration lawyer uh, you can please help us out and just respond to those questions so that people have the information they need before they apply in so October. for the first requirement your photo has to be in a digital format so if you have a picture that you took in a photo studio and you had just have a physical uh, picture, you can have it scanned in. It has, it just need to be like a two by two inches. And also it has to be like 300 pixels. So the digital image that you use for your green card application should meet certain requirements. First, it should be a JPEG format. So that will allow you to upload the uh, image um it should be like a square 600 by 600 pixels and the size should be like 240 kbs so that's the requirement of the digital image that you will upload in the application and just make sure like if you and your spouse and your children are all applying all those pictures should be in the same format or should meet all these requirements uh, so that you upload because if one photo is off um, it might lead to your application getting voided or being disqualified so let's talk about just the basic general requirement of the passport photos uh, that are required for immigration purposes especially when you're immigrating to the United States first they have to be in color I know a lot of people like where um, back in my country when i got my id back then uh, our photos used to be black and white so i don't know why they required the black and white pictures but for some reason they wanted the black and white but for the purposes of applying for the green cards um, your photos should be in color the second thing is about the size of your head i don't know why the size of the head matters but anyhow they need a particular size of the head and I'm talking from here all the way to here so according to their website it has to be one inch so from here to here so pretty much 50% to 69% of the picture is your head so from here to here 50% to 69% another thing is like your photo has to be taken within six months 
so in other words they want a picture that looks like you i know um like myself i gained a lot of weight so my face is a little bit chubbier than it was when i was coming to this country but i don't think i've gained that much weight in six months but some people have or maybe they've undergone certain changes we have some people who like um skin bleaching or skin lightening is their choice but what i'm saying is if you significantly change your skin color from like all the way to like brown to way too light maybe you might need another picture in six months because it needs to look like you another reason why you might need a new picture taken is for example uh, you had a significant trauma to your head maybe you had surgery or you had something happen to you that maybe uh, your facial structure are not the same uh, like they looked before so you might need a new picture for that another reason maybe you had uh, dreadlocks uh, and now you shaved your head so six months ago you had dreadlocks you looks you look like a completely different person and then now you shaved your hair so that you might need to take another picture for that another requirement is the background of your picture like when you look at my background right now it's flowers it's pink looks really good i'm tempted to take a picture but that won't qualify as a picture to use for the green card so for the green card you'll need to have either a white background or an off-white background i know back home in africa sometimes they take uh, pictures with a red background or a blue background i don't know what they do why they take passport pictures with those uh, backgrounds so if you go and they take a picture with a blue background don't try to photoshop and put a white background um, on the picture another requirement involves how you take the picture so when you take your picture make sure you're looking at the camera you're facing the camera don't look up don't look sideways don't look down just look face directly at the camera and try to keep your face neutral i know you might have that beautiful smile that you want everybody to see but for right now you can save it for later just make sure your face is neutral so you don't have any facial expression don't express sadness don't express fear don't express happiness just have neutral facial expression another requirement involves what to wear what should you wear when you're taking a picture so just think of it like i'm going to an interview what am i gonna wear for the interview if it's for a job so it should be formal they say oh uh, you can take a picture in the clothes that you wear every day some of us we don't want to do that so make sure that your picture has formal uh clothing like if you have to take a picture make sure you're wearing uh formal clothing and i will encourage you to wear something that's plain plain in color so for the sake of the green card application so this won't be like a good outfit uh, for me to wear to take a picture in so make sure you wear uh formal clothing and i've had success with the blue i don't have any legal uh explanations but i feel like anything blue um comes out or whatever like for some reason all the people that won wore blue so don't quote me on this but i feel like blue usually does something with this application another requirement uh is head covering so if you have something like a hat um i will encourage you to take it off uh when you're taking the picture but then they allow like if you're a muslim or for religious purposes like if you're a muslim and you need to wear the hijab i think that's allowed um i don't have any advice on that because uh all the people that won um they didn't wear anything they didn't have any uh head coverings so just make sure that whatever uh, you put on your head it doesn't cover your hairline so the hairline should be um, exposed and if you have uh, a hat make sure you remove and then when they're taking a picture make sure like the positioning allows somebody to see both your ears i know i have small ears for some reason i inherited them from um, my dad um, so if you have small ears the way i do they are weirdly shaped so just make sure both your ears can be seen in the picture so if you're like me and you wear glasses um, for distance so then if you're taking the picture 
don't take the picture with your eyeglasses on you need to take them off so they allow people who maybe had like a, a medical reason why they wear glasses like maybe they had surgery and then they're not allowed to take off those glasses they're allowed to take a picture with glasses but other than that like if you're wearing just eyeglasses you can take them for a split second for them to take the picture and then you can put them on uh, later on but then eyeglasses are discouraged from um, or you're discouraged from taking a picture with your eyeglasses on so if you can't see I understand there are uh, people who are completely or legally blind uh, you can sit on the chair and then take the glasses off allow the photographer to take your picture and then you can put your glasses back on however if you have hearing aids I think hearing aids are allowed don't quote me on this but I think hearing aids are allowed but then any eyewear is not allowed unless is medically necessary like somebody when um, underwent surgery and then they're not allowed to take those glasses off at any time uh, so those ones they can take a picture with them but other than that if you just wear like glasses uh, for vision um, you need to take them off when you're you're having your picture taken so I'm gonna tell you this something that I did I know I shouldn't have done it but uh, as much as the applicant won, I might discourage you from doing it because it, they might find out, I don't know. But if maybe you have a picture from a year ago or maybe two years ago and you completely don't have money to take another picture, you don't have another way of taking a picture, I'm gonna show you a trick that I did in my application to change the date on the picture, just as long as you look the same. Um, and you can use the same picture because I've used it and um, the person who was applying I sent it back to them and they applied and they won so they used a picture that literally we use two years in a row we use the same picture and they won so if you don't have a way of taking another picture and you look exactly the same and you want to take a risk of changing the dates you can do that and then you can submit it with your application. Um, if they have a way, maybe the system changed now, they can identify if you played around with uh, the size and the date in there, I don't know. So if you wanna take a risk, uh, you are welcome to try the trick. Now that I've reviewed the requirements for the picture for the uh, green card lottery, so I'll just hop on my computer and I'll pull, I know I said I'm gonna pull like a lot of pictures, but then I realized I'm gonna, this will be a long video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use one picture for a girl or a female, and then another picture for a male or a man, so that we can compare the two. And then I'll just review whatever is in those pictures is whatever I've already covered. So we'll just go on the computer just to make sure like, you know, you have a visual um, thing to look at. You have a visual of the requirements. The pictures are on the screen. We have this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So uh, the two on the left are the ones that the applicants used and they won. And the three over here on the right are the ones that the applicants used, but they did not win. So I'm going to show you, these are the exact same picture. They were taken by the same photographer. Is the same pictures taken at the same time. Um, but the only difference is the editing. One was edited correctly and the other one was not. Part the recommendation or the guidelines are the picture, remember, needs to be a square. It needs to be 600 by 600 pixels and the size should be 240 kbs or less so that will allow you to upload the picture on the application so let's start with the first picture where the applicant did not win so I'm gonna pull this picture this is a picture of my mom um, probably like five six years ago um, when you look at this picture, it looks like it's a great picture. It's an off-white background. Um, look at it. It looks very professional and you will think, oh, wait, it's okay to use it in my application. So I'm going to just pull up uh, some settings here. When you go to tools, I'm just going to do like adjust the size. The picture is 600 by 600 pixels, which fits the recommendations. Um, resolution is 300 
and you see the size here is 72 kb so it's appropriate to use this picture but then she did not win as much as this picture looks really good it does not meet the recommendations and i will tell you why okay let's go uh, to another picture so this is the picture of my brother this is the picture that uh, was initially sent to me from the photographer um, as you can see this picture again is off-white um, but look at the size it's a little big and what you can notice is like um, he's wearing blue um, so let's look at the tools and see the size so this size the width is 1880 and the height is 2816 pixels so this one does not meet the recommendations the resolution again is 72 it needs to be like at least 300 and here is 72 and you see it needs to be 240 kbs or less but here it's like 934 so this picture does not meet the guidelines so i'm just gonna um uh, get out of that and pull another third picture so let's look at this picture here this picture will fool you like when you look at it right now you'd be like wow that's a great picture because off white look it looks very professional he's looking at the camera the face is all neutral uh, let's go to uh, the tools again and see what size we are looking at it's 600 by 600 the resolution is 300 and then the size is 67 kb which is less than 240 kb so this picture can be uploaded on the green card application but as much as it can be uploaded it does not meet the recommendations i know it sounds weird when you look at this picture it looks really really good i'm gonna uh, make it bigger so you see, look at that picture. Off-white, looks professional, tie, everything. Uh, he's looking at the camera, face neutral, looks like a good picture. But it does not meet the guidelines. The reason why I am pulling all these pictures um, is so that you can tell the difference. Like you can see what I'm talking about when I say that they need a good picture. I'm showing you the bad ones, which they look like they meet the recommendations, but they really don't okay so next I'm gonna uh, pull up a picture of my brother the picture that he used to win the green card all right well okay that's the picture look at that picture it looks similar to the one I pulled before right but look at this picture this picture meets the guidelines to the T and I will show you how or why so I'm gonna get out of the picture and first I'm gonna pull up the first picture that the photographer sent to me I'm gonna just move it over here pull the second one um, let me just uh, do hide sidebar so that we have this one here so I'm gonna pull this one here pull that one there and then I'm going to pull the one that he won. So let me just again hide the sidebar. Um, so these three pictures, let's look at them here. So look at these pictures. What do you notice the difference? This picture, the size is all off, like it's too long. So literally the guidelines like this one is off. So roll this one out, X this one out. So let's look at this one and this. So what I'm going to do, because this one doesn't meet the guideline, I'll just like get it off my screen and look at these two pictures that seem like they meet the guidelines. Both of them, the sizes are, remember, 600 by 600 and they're um, less than 240 uh, KBs. Um, so what I'm going to do, we'll do that so that we pull them both here so you can see them side by side so I edited these pictures myself to make sure they meet the guidelines so I did this the first time I put it put an application but he did not win with this one so I used the same picture the next year so and I sent it to him so look at this picture look at the size of the head is not 50% from here to here 
is not 50%. Look at this other picture. From here to here is at least more than 50%. So remember the size of the head has to be between 50 to 69%. So this one I submitted he did not win because the picture looks okay but the head doesn't meet the recommendations. But this one here the head meets the recommendations and he won. So this is the picture that he used on his application in 2015 and he won and he's currently in the United States. Okay, I'm gonna X out of that. Okay, we'll X out of that and we'll X out of this. I'm gonna pull a picture that I used and I won. So the picture is right here. I probably that was like 12 years ago, so I look very innocent, you know. Now I'm all messed up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyhow, so let me put my pull my brother's picture again. So look at these two pictures. I'm gonna again uh, make it bigger so you're looking at them side by side. So when you look at these pictures, both these pictures, the applicants won. The head is 50%. At least look at this one. That's a big head. So, and then look at the ears. I can see both ears are visible in the picture. Look at my ear. As much as I have small ears, you can see both my ears. Okay. Uh, look at my facial expression. Neutral. I'm not um, displaying any emotion, any sadness, happiness, anything. Like my face is neutral. Look at the eyes facing directly um, at the camera. And what do you notice? My uh, shirt here it's like a, it was like a light sky blue color and his is also like a version of blue. So if you want to apply for the green card, the pictures you're looking at right now, your picture should look like this or at least close to this. So I'm going to X out of this. So if you're a female, Look at this picture, a different version. Just make sure like your clothes um, are plain. They're not too flowery or whatever. Um, I don't have any legal, again, um, any legal like standing on it, but then I'm just saying that based off of experience. So if you're a female, um, you can take a picture. It doesn't have to look like this, uh, but then it should have like similar uh, components in it. So I'm gonna X out. So again, I'm going to pull the picture up. This one, the applicant, the same picture was taken literally like few years back, uh, five years ago, didn't win. I didn't, the applicant did not take another picture. He just, I just cropped this for the application, the first application. He did not win. And then we did the third one, which is this one. I use the same picture and the applicant won. So you can see this one not win, not win, and then he won using this one. And in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to change the date. I changed the picture of this date so that I could use it in this year's application. Like this one was application in 2014 and this is 2015. So 2015, I used the same exact picture. I changed the date. So that will be in my next video. So if you have any questions, again, you can type them uh, down below this video. And then if anybody has an answer, uh, they're free to like, you know, uh, give us their, you know, opinion about anything um, because I'm not a legal advisor. So there's so many questions that maybe I don't have the answers to. But if you know the answer, um, you can please um, help us out. Good luck to everybody who plans to apply for the green card lottery this year. I wish you all the best. If you like this video, please click subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to share. Thank you.